up guys how you know welcome back this is not your boy here adam slink welcome to other crazy video uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are doing okay so we're gonna be checking out some issue concerning the dubai band dubai visa band and also some few issues as well portable mobad and naramali then i want to share you a video guys this is really really disturbing just stay tuned it's about a lady who chopped off her who allegedly chopped off her boyfriend Kukumba. but firstly check out this guy who was recently arrested and jailed by efcc over 100 dollar whatsapp scam this guy was jailed by efcc well when i saw this post the first thing that came to my mind is how unfair unfair the justice system can be this guy was jailed according to the post that say whatsapp's karma jail for hundred dollar fraud the efcc abuja zona command today october 25th that is two days ago secured the conviction of an internet fraudster will seen before justice fa aliyu of the fct court sitting in apo abuja he was convicted after pleading guilty to one count charge bordering on impersonation hundred dollar hundred dollar is like i said now because of uh, the black market it's like seven hundred dollars is at like seventy five thousand this guy was jailed for that for seventy five thousand naira although i i i hope he may have been given some uh option of a uh, fine and uh bill but why he was jailed for hundred dollar and meanwhile when you check our politicians they are catering away with billions of naira this guy jailed for just seventy five thousand naira hundred dollar the law the justice system is so unfair guys very 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 unfair and meanwhile check how this picture of this lady i do not know if this is a sketch video a comedy video or if this is real this girl allegedly chopped off her boyfriend kukumba over cheating allegation My friend, will you, will you shut up and uh, ask your question? They cheat on me. They cheat on me. Every time I go to the I'm making live girls. I don't even fool any man. I only am a day. They move on the fuck around. You are heartless. Well, like I've said before, guys, I don't know if it's a joke or whatsoever, but the picture is really, I think it's, quite real because the girl was holding the kukumba i don't know i don't know if this is a funny video or something but we have seen similar news before real news about it before and uh if you get cheated on if you get cheated on as a girl please it's not your right that guy's kukumba is not yours it's not yours it's not yours simply walk away why are you going to chop off someone's kukumba simply because the person cheated on you how now you can just simply walk away and meanwhile you heard about naramali and mobad issue a few weeks ago mobad accused naramali and his boys for beating him in naramali's house he was hospitalized and uh they try he tried to explain the situation and also naramali also tried to explain the situation he, naramali said Mobas is always on drugs, and whenever he's on drugs, he acts weird. And then Mobad and his friend were hospitalized. And now Mobad just issued Naramali Malia record termination notice. And according to Mobad, he said Naramali is not giving him a dime. Naramali is not didn't didn't uh, work according to the agreement they signed years ago in 2019. So guess what? I don't know how, Nara, how Naramali will take this, but according to the termination notice in paragraph 5, it said, 
you have failed to pay all royalties due to our client from all his intellectual property work monetized since 2019 till date since 2019 this date and also in paragraph 5 he said you have failed to pay any advances as mutually agreed by both parties since 2019 till date and so many other stuff guys and uh, i think there's still another one here since it said sequence to determination we therefore demand the following the logs and record of all his digital sale of all song by our client release during this period 2019 till date and payment of the monetary value in respect there for there of due to our client within seven days of receipt of this letter the immediate handover of our client entire catalogs of song released prior and during the ag agreement with you so mobad let me tell you what exactly what is going on all mobad song is owned by malia record automatically mobad do not have any songs to his name all his song is owned by Malia Record. Malia Record are the one receiving money from all mobile songs. The logs in, the catalog, everything is owned by Malia. And according to mobile, uh, mobile Malia is supposed to pay in an advance payment they never did. And money from gotten from these records was never given to mobile Well, we are waiting for Nara Mali to quickly of course, that's fine. And it just makes me think about Portable. You know, I know you guys will say something now. When Portable was crying during that, ah, they tried to rip me, tried to rip me, rip me, rip me, rip me. You know, we were all laughing at him, saying that, why are you shouting? But looking at this and looking at how people sign their life in contract and all the rest, I'm beginning to appreciate people like Portable for standing their ground. And making sure they are collecting maximum of the money they are earning. Because portable now, don't be surprised. If free if portable is a free agent, he's collecting the little money, everything. He's a free agent. Travel, receive the tall money in pocket, everything is for him. He's a free agent, he's doing well for himself. So boy. No bad. Sorry, eh? Well, I don't want to start uh, supporting anybody yet and so we we still just gonna just wait for Nara Mali to respond to this termination contract but portable uh the other day was so happy to finally see or speak with someone yeah good, good. you don't understand english yes i know english but i i talk you talk you you understand small 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 smoking you understand small, small, small English? Oh, small English? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you understand small English? My picker, my picker. I need to show you that you're me, boy, boy. Boy, Well, uh, at least he, he have, uh, I think he was quite shocked to see that the guy can't even speak any English. Well, it's good to, you know, he might be in a position, eh? The only thing that we, that you just need to keep you moving is to see someone who is in a worse situation than yours. You know? Well, like I said before, I'm kind of like appreciating portable looking at mobile current issue. You know, with this uh, ripping of a thing. You know, sometimes I think whenever, whenever musicians who own record label, are they doing it to make money or they are doing it to assist? It's not about business, but there are so many, they will just tie you down. They, will, they are doing it for the money purpose. They don't care. They will tie your life down. While some are doing it to also assist and also make few bucks from it. So I see people like, like Olamide, Don Jazzy, you know, they always praise them. And people who have worked with them praise them a lot for assisting them and all the rest. You know, I see them like that, but if you're in a record label and uh, as a boss, you will see some of all those record label, you see that uh, the way
those balls will rip them off and they keep complaining about you and if you are one of all those record label boss and your artists keep complaining about you then i think you should count yourself among those rippers well let's talk about the dubai visa band well i'll uh, gather some information about it it's not only nigeria alone for those of you who care to know i think about 20 countries from africa dubai recently uae recently issued visa band and it doesn't affect the rich the property owners it doesn't affect there are some special uh, visa they already have as property owners business owner in dubai they are not affected it's just the new job seeking people who want to go to dubai or visa seeking nigerians who want to go to dubai that are affected if you have a business over there you are not affected if you have a property over there, you are not affected. And if you have a very big account, you know what I mean by big account, big money in your account, you are not affected. So I think it's just ordinary host Nigerians who are affected. We cannot go to Dubai, and Dubai is one of all those countries I really, really want to go. And quite unfortunately, because I do not have that big bag in my account, I won't be able to go now. You know, they put a restriction to 40 years. I don't know why they just decided to be like boom you know what we do not want you guys come on man the bar authority make it easy for us you guys should make it easy for us it's not our fault now it's not our fault make it easy for us well i need you to check within uh abike abike said recently concerning the whole issue he's blaming it on uh the crime rate Dubai. Nigeria perpetrating crime in Dubai, the rate as which it has increased, that's what she's blaming it on. But honestly, I do not think it's the crime now. I think it's about there's politics being played here. There's politics being played. And uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes so, sometimes so, sometimes so. I kind of like wish uh, Nigerians were able to travel anywhere. So that this country will make a better by force by fire. I kind of like wish Nigeria is very able to travel anywhere because when we when you have too many choices, eh, you just say, ah, and at least I have the choice, this one can go. You know, sometimes I just wish you, honestly. So guys, let me know exactly how you feel. And then thank you very much for watching. It's a boy here, Link. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.